Hello friends, this video on triangles part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 8. Let's take more example. ABCD is a trivision, this one, in which AB is parallel to BC and the diagonal intersect each other at point O. We have to prove that AO by BO is equal to CO by, let's approach this problem. AO by BO doesn't make any sense to me. If it is AO by AC, it makes some sense. AO by BO doesn't make sense to me. Does it make? To me, it doesn't make. Because till now I have learned this, you know, where I know AO by AOC, I know it will be equal to something. But AO by BO, we don't know. Let me rewrite this. I can rewrite this as AO by CO OC is equal to BO by OD. Why? Because I was looking for AO by OC, BO by OD. I can do something with this. But AO by CO, BO is something which I don't know. What I've learned in Thales theorem, AO by OC will be equal to if this is parallel, it will cut this way. Correct. Now, since we know that to prove within Thales theorem, we need a parallel line. Because if AO by OC is equal to something, we need a parallel line, right? Without parallel line, we can't prove anything. So let's draw a parallel line. Let's draw this parallel line. So if we draw this parallel line, let's suppose this meet at. So here, let's suppose AO is X, OC is Y, BO is again X dash. And OD is Y dash. Now you see this in this triangle ADC. In triangle ADC, what we can see? This is X, this is Y, and this is parallel. So I'll assume this is X naught and this is Y naught. Why? Because PO is parallel to DC. Correct? Since PO is parallel to DC, this is X, this is Y, this is X naught, this is Y. So I can say that x by y is equal to x naught by y naught. Why? Since PO is parallel to DC. Correct? This is my one equation where I got the relation between x, y, x naught, y naught. If I get one more equation in the term of x naught, y naught, x dash, y dash this time, so I can cut this part because my final equation is I have to prove that x by y is equal to x dash y dash. This is what I have to prove. So let me try to get this equation on this form x naught y naught x dash y dash. If I can see this, this is one triangle where I have all the four parameters. That is, in triangle ABD, you see, I can say that y dash by x dash is equal to y naught by x naught. Why? Because PO is parallel to it. To compare these two equations, I get x by y is equal to instead of x naught by y naught, I write x dash by y dash. How? Because this is nothing but this I can rewrite as x dash by y dash is equal to x naught by y naught. The same equation. So instead of x naught by y naught, I wrote x dash by y dash. Invert this equation. So I got this as my answer. And this is something I was supposed to prove x by y is equal to x by y dash. If I prove this, that means I can say that AO by BO is equal to C by B. Very simple. Just try to do some reverse engineering. We did a reverse engineering in this. We found that AO by BO is equal to CO by DO doesn't look good to me. So I wrote this as AO by CO is equal to BO by DO. For this, I needed a parallel line, so I drew a parallel line at point P. So I got x by y is equal to x dash by y dash, and also x dash by y dash is equal to x naught by y. x naught by y naught was common in this, so I merged these two equations. This is equation 1 and equation number 2. I merged these equations to get x by y is equal to x dash by y. The question says the diagonals of a quadrilateral ABCD intersects each other at point O such that 
AO by BO is equal to CO by DO, we have to prove that ABCD is a trapezium. This is just exactly same as the previous question, just it is other way around. There it was given that the lines were parallel and we have to prove that AO by BO is equal to CO by DO. Here it is given that AO by BO is equal to CO by DO, we have to prove that line is parallel. First, let us how to approach. We will write given. Given is AO by BO is equal to CO by D. If you see AO is X, right? And CO is let's suppose Y, it is C actually. Okay. OB is X dash and OD is Y dash. It is given that AO that is X by BO that is X dash is equal to CO that is CO is Y by Y dash or X by Y is equal to X dash by Y dash that is given and we have to prove that AB is parallel to DC to prove what we can do is we can get one more parallel line here similar to what we have done in the early example and let this be D right this is a parallel line this line is parallel to let's suppose AB so as a construction, construction is draw OE parallel to AB, right? Now we can, if we can prove that OE is also parallel to DC, then we can prove that AB is parallel to DC, right? Because OE is parallel to AB and OE is parallel to DC, that means AB is parallel to DC. So we have drawn the line. OE says that OE is parallel to AB. We have to prove that OE is parallel to DC. That's what we have to prove. Since OE is parallel to AB, OE is parallel to AB. So in this triangle, in triangle ABD, in triangle ABD, you see OE is parallel to BD. So I can say that Y dash by X dash is equal to, let's suppose this is Y naught and this is X naught is equal to y naught by x naught correct phase theorem since eo is parallel to ab y dash by x dash is equal to y naught by x naught correct now we are told that y dash by x dash is nothing but y by x given see x dash by y dash is equal to x by y so y dash by x dash is equal to y by x so y by x is equal to y naught by x naught correct now since y by x or I can say x by y is equal to x naught by y naught right same thing since x by y is equal to x naught by y naught if we observe in triangle ADC in triangle ADC if we say x by y is equal to x naught by y naught we can say that OE is parallel to CD why? Because in triangle ADC, if OE is parallel to uh, X by Y is equal to X naught by Y naught, we can say that OE is parallel to CD. Now we have OE is parallel to CD and OE is also parallel to AB. Therefore, we can say that CD is parallel to AB. And that is our answer. Very simple. What we have done? We have taken this line OE, constructed this line OE that is parallel to AB. Then we have proved that this line OE is also parallel to CD. One line is parallel to two lines, that means other two lines are also parallel. And that's what we have. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.